Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we are doing buffalo chicken and a roasted potato casserole. Um, I don't know how much of a casserole it's going to be, but that's what they're calling it. This, of course, is a brand new find off the interweb. Never made it before, but sounded good to me, so figured I'd bring you all along, let you guys be guinea pigs just like me. So, sit back, relax, and uh, grab your favorite beverage. I'm going to get cooking. Alright y'all, we're going to start out here, we're going to make our coating, our buffalo style coating. Um, again, I've never made this recipe before, so um, we're going we're gonna to give it a shot here though. I'm going to start out with a third of a cup of olive oil. Which, all these ingredients doesn't sound like enough, nearly enough for this whole entire uh batch of stuff so but we're gonna figure it out um next we got a teaspoon and a half of salt a teaspoon or a tablespoon of paprika a tablespoon of coarse ground black pepper two tablespoons that was a tablespoon a tablespoon of garlic powder and the recipe calls for six tablespoons of hot pepper sauce, which I'm putting Frank's, I'm using the Frank's, because, you know, put that crap on everything, so, uh, yeah, so, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six okay so there's that and we're going to put it under a medium low heat and we need to find a mixing device here that get this stuff all mixed up i don't think this is going to be i'm going to use a bigger one all right my hand, I'm going to handle my panel here. Pan here. Just all combined. Really nicely. Let's see if I can't find me a spatula. Something to kind of scrape with. Alright, here we go. We got a spatula now. They just they said the says the instructions say this to heat this. Heat it up gently. So I mean it looks kind of coarse to me, but maybe once the heat gets to it it'll it'll be uh, better. I guess so clean up here a little bit while we're waiting a clean kitchen's a happy kitchen so all right all right I'm gonna heat this stuff up we'll bring y'all back whenever uh, it's ready to go all right y'all I switched to my bigger pan because we're supposed to roast these and it says to use a 9 by 13 there's eight potatoes here cut up into pieces. You're not really going to roast them all stacked up in a pan like that. So we're going to we're going to do them in uh, in this pan over here on this pan over here. And all we're supposed to do is get them do it in batches. Get the taters coated. You're not supposed to heat that mixture up uh, to where it's hot, that where it cooks the potatoes. You're just supposed to uh, heat it up to where uh, the flavors mingle. So, I'm 
y'all I think they're lying to us on this so all right we'll be right back all right y'all I went ahead and got my biggest mixing bowl I have because there was no way you're gonna do that in small batches and get these things all these potatoes coated they said eight potatoes and I didn't even use really big potatoes and they're supposed to be leftover sauce to marinate the chicken in oh that's my oven we preheated that to 500 degrees Yo, I don't think there's gonna be uh, sauce left over so we're gonna mix we'll mix another batch up to do the chicken so all right all right looks like we've got those coated we're gonna move this out of the way and grab our baking sheet and we're gonna dump these out that off to the side that's a lot of taters y'all but it's going by the instructions like I said I never made this before so I mean I have roasted potatoes before but I've never uh, I've never done this here particular recipe so all right got those ready to go I'm gonna pop them in the oven Set the timer for like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. We'll take it out, give it a shake and a toss, and cook them till the potatoes are done and tender. So, all right, we'll bring y'all right back. All right, y'all. We got another batch of that sauce made up. We got two pounds, and this is uh, the original recipe called for chicken breast. Uh, I'm using chicken thighs, uh, boneless chicken thighs. Just because I like the flavor of that better and uh, it's cheaper so uh, we're, we're marinating them so you know why can't we use the uh, chicken thighs I mean, if you're trying to impress somebody you know by all means use the chicken thighs or chicken breast this is for me so get these all good and coated We'll let that marinate while we uh, cook our taters. good and coated so we're gonna set that off to the side let that uh, do its thing and marinate while we're uh, we're cooking the taters so once I get the taters all cooked bring you guys right back all right y'all we got our uh, taters all roasted there and uh, it's still extremely hot so we're gonna take these we're gonna put those in our 9 by 13 pan here cover the bottom and yes I did sample one of them and they are a little on the spicy side, so when I make these again, I will cut down on the hot sauce a little bit. So, all right. Got those all transferred over. I'll probably uh, only use four potatoes instead of the eight. So, all right. Let me get rid of this pan here. I can find one of my hot nuts. There it is. 
Get that put out of the way. Woo, escaping tater. Now, we gotta take our uh, <coughs> chicken. Sorry, had to think about it there for a second. Take our chicken, and I'm gonna top my stove is a little warm, so I'm not gonna set my plastic bowl on top there, but we just wanna kinda lay our chicken out on there, they said. Guess we could bring our pan over, huh? This is definitely gonna fill a 9 by 13 pan, y'all. Most definitely. Get that piece of escaping chicken there. And I turned my oven down from 500 to 400. Probably next time we'll cut it down to four potatoes and, you know, like a pound or so of chicken. Because this is a whole lot of chicken. Which, I mean, I'll eat it. Don't get me wrong. I will definitely eat it. So, all right. Got that in there. We're going to pop this back in the oven. We're going to set the timer for 30 minutes. And we'll check it at that point and make sure our chicken's done. And then there's one more step after this. So, bring y'all right back. All right, y'all. The timer just went off. I'm going to pull this out. We're going to check and make, see if our chicken is done yet. Got our little instant read thermometer. No, not quite. About 145. Uh, 155. The outside edges are, look like they're Yeah, the outside edges look like they're done. Yeah. So. Alright. We're going to put her back in for about another 15-20 minutes. And then, uh, should be done. So, let me get this back in the oven. And we'll bring you all right back. Alright, y'all. Got that chicken finished baking. Now, we got to do the last little step because you know everything is better with cheese I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese on here Let's give it a nice coating all right now you know me everything's better with bacon so we're gonna sprinkle some bacon on top and that was uh, sharp cheddar cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like, but I prefer the sharp cheddar. So, all right. Now, we're going to pop this back in the oven. Let that cheese melt. And uh, I shut the oven off. But uh, we're going to let that cheese melt. And uh, let it cool down. And then we'll do our taste test. So, all right. Bring you all right back. All right, y'all, I just had to show you how this come out the oven. The smell is awesome. It looks delicious, so we're going to let her cool just a little bit, and then we'll dig in. Alright y'all, we got our bowl full of casserole, so I'm going to try a piece of that chicken first. Mmm, that's good and tender. It doesn't have as strong a buffalo taste as what you'd think with all that sauce and all that, you know, spicy stuff in there. It, that's really good, so I got to try one of the taters though, you know. 
Mm. Same thing. Oh, and when I I noticed when I dished it out, there was some juice in the bottom from the must be from the chicken and stuff, and uh, the potatoes were like marinating and cooking in them and steaming in them. Oh, I'm, I gotta have another piece of the chicken here, y'all. You know, mm. that's delicious. Mm. Oh man. So, all right, there you have it. Buffalo chicken and roasted potatoes, casserole, I guess you'd call it a casserole, looks like a casserole, tastes like a casserole, um, uh, the only thing I would probably do is, I like ranch dressing on my buffalo stuff, if y'all like blue cheese, that's a whole other story, when my food gets moldy I throw it away, I don't eat it, anyways, uh, throw a little ranch dressing on there, probably be really really good, so. Hope you all enjoyed this one. I enjoyed making it for you. Hope you're going to try it. Leave me a comment down there below if you thought it was looked good and if you're going to try it. So, love you all. And uh, as always, bear appetite.